there's a lot of action happening here uh, at Ningo Pram Pram, uh, where elections should be underway. However, it's on hold. Since morning, uh, the media has been here, where we're at Metro TV, we have been here since 7 o'clock, and uh, where we understand the crunch meeting is happening. There's Kofi Adams in that uh, office there. They're having a discussion. I personally witnessed Sam George in there when I went into source information. The situation is a bit fluid. We're not sure how it will play out. However, we're believing that there will be a decision that will finally be arrived at and then the verdict will either be there's going to be voting or not. Uh, currently still happening here is that Sam George I just stepped out of the meeting. He's on a compound. The current meeting is happening in there. I went close to him to find out if he has something to say. He maintains that the meeting would be ending in about 10 minutes and then he'll make an official statement. That's Sam George in the pictures. You can see him in there. He's engaging with some of uh, his, 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 his members on the campaign team on really probably what's happening. We will see how the situation goes when he gets in there as he returns and says he would address us on what exactly is. Okay, so we're still here at the Ningo Pram Pram constituency. You will tell that uh, there's a lot of tension. You saw in the footage that Sam, Sam George actually staged the workouts. I'm not sure whether the meeting is over. He, I understand uh, Kofi Adams will give us an official statement. I spoke to the director of elections in the person of Nobel uh, Amenya. He says that he would not also comment unless Kofi Adams comes out with that. But uh, supporters of both groups, I think, are around and they are quite agitated. Let's find out what their views is, is, is on the matter. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Sam George, no. But but we are talking about the elections, the elections, the elections here. You know, we don't we don't want to know whether you, Sam George is, is a Yeti Mensan's boy. What do you make of the process? Whether it's happening or not? Are you waiting to vote? Yeah, can say about voting. In fact, the people of Ningo Pram Pram constituency are eager to vote. They've waited for far too long for this day to come. You're still watching Metro News. <laughs> We're coming to you live from uh, Ningo Pram Pram. So, uh, from the Ningo Pram Pram constituency, this is a park you're seeing. It's a school, and it's called the Methodist A and B. Well, at the Methodist A and B, we were at the district police headquarters, uh, Pram Pram, when we got information that uh, there was some some violence. There was some some scuffling there was a huge noise too like a blast or some some stuff and uh, we were told that it had to do with the ET men's are being uh, at the Methodist A and B and there was some confusion allegedly he was involved in a brawl we can't confirm that as of now but then the police were informed the media as well we've all moved to the Methodist A and B school and uh, we're trying to get information as to what really is happening here why are you the one using the vehicle they crossed him. When Honorable was coming, they crossed him. They crossed him, yes. They crossed him, yes. Show me where. 
On the junction, what they are doing the asphalt? The asphalt. So he was caused by Sam George? No, his group. They were in the pickup from Nungo. So they crossed him. I was following. So you heard that uh, there's a lot of tension here at uh, Ningo Pram Pram. It's, it's, it's a contest for power. Uh, power is, 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 a, is, is a very important resource or element that really drives a lot of action within societies. And it is that contest for power that's brought about a lot of tension in the Ningo Pram Pram constituency. That some of my supporters who came to Pram Pram and were on their way back to Ningo, on their way back to Ningo, were, at, were attacked by Honorable Iti Mensa himself and the youth organizer Habibu. This morning, just about an hour ago, in the presence of police commanders, in the presence of the district and regional EC commanders, I was having a discussion with the constituency electoral officer and from nowhere the same Habibu storms into the Pram Pram district police office and punches me in the eye. If you look in my left eye, you see it's swollen. That is a youth organizer and a campaign manager for Honorable E.T. Mentor. The Honorable E.T. Mentor must behave like an old man. So, um, in the pictures was uh, Sam George. He actually followed up on the news about the little violence that must have uh, taken place over here at the Methodist A&B Park. So he took the chance to address the senior police person who was here and petition that something be done about uh, you know the pockets of violence that seems to be erupting over here at Nego Pram Pram. We, we, we've been on the ground since morning and uh, there's been lots of allegations that's been going against you. It's, it's, it's from Sam George that uh, behind at the uh, Methodist A and B, you actually had some bodyguards chase some ladies around. What's happening? It's absolutely not correct. I don't even gone there today. It's not true. You haven't been there? I've, I've, are there are witnesses that claim they saw you there. Been chasing women. It's not true. Not you in person, but then your boys. But my boys were not chasing anybody. They're, I don't, not just anybody, it's absolutely true. Would you tell us exactly what happened then? Because we under, they understand that is that you were there. Listen to me. I was going from my mother's house to my house. And then there was a pickup loaded with people with red pants. We are, we are aware. Those are the people who were mobilized by St. George last night to the electoral commission's office. When the registers were brought, I decided not to go out at all. He called us to come there and send a rep. Because that boy is a pathological liar. I didn't want to be anywhere with him for him to go and lie. Have you, look, have you had a look at the register? And would you say that it is bloated or not? Because he raises concerns that there are some names without pictures. Also, there are on the register names that have been written in pen ink, not printed out. And in the original register, which he claims is, is with, his, with his team, there are no names such as ink with, written in ink. But then now there appears a new register and some of it has been written. How does that happen? It doesn't make sense to anybody. Did you see? Did it show it to you? I did it. Okay. But that it's, it's on that basis that this whole thing is on a holder. Listen, because the man is lying. It is on the basis of his lies and his treachery that we find ourselves where we stand today. I'm telling you, there's no need for indecent haste in putting down stories. Something like what he said that things have been changed in NDC. We use pen to, you know, change things in our register. In this ICTH, it's an insult to all of us. It's not true. That was why you should not be stretching and asking that question. It's not true at all. Absolutely not true. One big thing that came out is that he's alleging that your campaign manager, in the person of Habib, um, handled him and therefore he is pressing charges. That's your campaign manager. It, it, it associates your team with violence. What have you to say to that? Let me tell you something. Habib is not a campaign manager. He's not. His campaign manager. A Langard, he is known in this town, a notorious Langard, drove the car into the crowd. Injured people, maimed them. 
But you should report these things to the police then. We reported all to the police and I told them, well, don't put this shoot to act. If it's violence, it is just some job with this Langard campaign manager who have been doing it all over the place. You're live on Metro News and I'm sure you're live on other media houses. The challenge here is lots of people within the NDC will be worried that this internal wrangling may not augur well for the National Party. I mean, the people of Ningo are a very small community, very quiet, and now there's a lot of tension following uh, your contest between Sam George. Why wouldn't the two of you find a peaceful way of dealing with this and then move on together as a party? And what would be your message for your constituents? Knowing that I'm a founding member of this party, that's what I have restrained myself. The big thing is, are you worried that going forward, after today's event and how things have panned out, it may be very difficult to maintain the peace then because there's lots of confusion. There are pockets of disagreements that may erupt into something else. I think the question is, how do you intend to deal with that? Are you talking about this from the point of view of knowledge that you have done your investigation? And I'm telling you, I'm here, I'm telling you, you can go and do random, you know, uh, sampling. There is nothing like security threats here at all. There is absolutely nothing. So there's nothing to worry about. If there's, American says, if there is not broken, you don't fix it. There's nothing to be fixed. Your final message to Ghanaians. Oh, my final mes message to Ghanaians is that it's, we want to, you know, express our regret for what happened here in Ningo Pram Pram. And I'm glad that the people themselves are saying in private conversations, that this has never happened before. Oh, I mean, I'm okay. Thank you for having me. That's so that's the Honourable Yiti Mensa in your, in your pictures. He has expressed his disappointment at what's happening and the most allegations that were turned against him. Uh, you will tell that he, he actually shot down most of these allegations, saying that it's unfounded, it's not true. He's asked that to actually even speak to some evidence. He also claims that he has been attacked or he has been manhandled by St. George's campaign team. He shows us a picture which I have in my hands here that his vehicle was vandalized and uh, it, it shows that there's been a lot of back and forth and there's a lot of tension here going forward into today's election and so well he says there will be peace and the security presence here will remain uh, he would ensure as incumbent to <laughs>